We are an oil and gas state, and I think the average Texan appreciates that. It's an important part of the economy and the culture of our state. Texas has had an extraordinary increase in oil and gas drilling over the last eight to 10 years. Fracturing coupled with horizontal drilling has just dramatically increased the amount of oil and gas that we're producing here. It really has been revolutionary. It's taken old fields such as the Permian Basin, given them a new lease on life. Many people have a lot of ideas about fracking and there's a lot of misinformation. The public is concerned about their health about the, their property impacts. What does this mean for my family, my family's health and our community? The Shell Task Force is an examination and summary of available information and research. TAMIST is trying to provide information to decision makers in the state of Texas. The importance of the CHAIL task force is to be able to compile the best scientific knowledge that we have. What we will use as our resource are uh, studies that have already been done. It will look at every facet of shale oil and gas development from start to finish. Air emissions, land use implications, water, induced seismicity, transportation, also the socioeconomic elements. Our goal is to determine what we know and what we don't know. What are the impacts and what should we be doing differently to better manage those impacts? People who live in the areas where this development is actually happening are experiencing very positive benefits in terms of growth. At the same time, uh, there may be some elements that are harder to deal with. Carn City is basically the epicenter of the Eagle Ford shale, the Eagle Ford shale boom. The area kind of went through some tough times. It's gotten a lot better because of the oil and gas industry. Most of the concerns that I hear really are more of an economics nature. How is this going to affect our community once it finally goes away? The industry has ways of doing things. Uh, the public has different perceptions on how they're doing it, and I think an independent study will be good for both. It'll be great information for the oil companies to see up front what our community has faced and what we've experienced, the, the good and the bad. How do we plan for the future? How do we make shale oil and gas development sustainable? What has the state learned as a result of this development? It's critical to have scientific facts to inform that conversation. This is a group of real experts from academia, from the industry. We were able to recruit these people in part because of the reputation of TAMEST. Providing objective, unbiased scientific information in a way and in a format and in a language that everyday folks, voters, concerned citizens, community leaders can understand. This is an unbiased report. We're not being um, paid by the oil and gas industry. We don't have a vested interest on one side or the other. There are no predetermined findings or recommendations. This will be a very believable, unbiased, accurate report and the more accurate the information, the more believable it will be and the more benefit it will provide. It's essential to be able to understand the scientific underpinnings and risks of shale development. This report will be important for Texas and beyond our state.